Born October 9, 1916 in Tanzac, Cavite, Mars Ravello was one of the most successful Filipino comics artists. He was the creator of the famous superheroine Darna, and the highest paid comics artist of his time, later being recognized as the king of Philippine comics. After World War II, Ravello realized the Filipinos were in need of a superhero. From 1950s to 1970s, Ravello wrote and collaborated with other illustrators and writers to produce more than 300 comic stories. Comics at some point in the 1950s also became a tool for propaganda and criticism of local politics, especially with its visually strong characteristics. Many of these were later adapted on screen. In creating Darna, Mars Ravello admits that it was the prevalence of a colonial mentality among many readers that compelled him to create a comic strip hero that approximated the stature and powers of the then most popular American heroes, Wonder Woman and Supergirl. Perhaps you would also recognize Jezebel, the lovelorn mermaid, Captain Barbell, the superhero, and Elastic Man, right? These are only some of Ravello's characters that have come to life beyond the realm of the printed medium and successfully transversed into the world of cinema and other media. Ravello was also a novelist and later the editor-in-chief for two major publishing houses and film companies. In his writings, he didn't avoid taboo issues like incest, child abuse, and homosexuality. At the peak of his success, he founded his own company, RAR. He created such graphic novels as Hiwaga, Maruha, Roberta, and Jack and Jill. Mars Ravello's stories have brought us into the worlds of fantasy and the supernatural as well as into the lives of people like us. His works show us different views of our joys and sorrows and our weaknesses and strengths. He passed away on September 12, 1988, due to a heart attack. But even if the popularity of comics may have dwindled in recent years, his characters will remain part of Philippine pop culture and will continue to shape the minds of creative individuals. It is not the storyteller's skill, importance, and influence that make his graphic novels a work of literature and art, but his commitment to his readers and followers, and that even if told a hundred times before, it never gets old.